The Oculus Quest 2 is quite a powerful device, and we've proved that it can do a lot more than just play VR. And recently, for some reason, I've been playing quite a bit more Minecraft. I don't know what it is. So I decided now is the perfect time to do something that I've talked about a lot before in the past, but never actually showed you how to do. Today, I will be showing you how to install fully blown Minecraft. You can join servers, everything, on your Oculus Quest 2. So that, let's say you don't have a PC, but you want to play Minecraft, you can do it fully only on the Quest. So let's get right into the video. So for this tutorial, you are going to require, well, first of all, your Quest 2 with developer mode enabled, of course, because we are going to be doing side loading. So you do require that. You will require either a PC or like the title says, without a PC, you will require an Android phone to do the side loading or say a Raspberry Pi or anything that can run ADB side load. Okay, so let's get right into it. So for today's video, we're using something called Pojav Launcher. Now, Pojav Launcher, I have talked about a lot in the past. The thing is, Pojav has gone through quite a few really nice updates, and I think quite a few of you are going to love it. So there are two ways that you can get the APK for Pojav Launcher onto your quest. The first way is through GitHub. However, that APK is ever so slightly outdated, coming from January of 2021. The APK on the Google Play Store is quite a lot more up to date. However, to get that, you will need an Android phone and APK extractor. And once I find Pojav, I can click extract and now I have the extracted latest Pojav Launcher APK that I can sideload onto my quest. Of course, for those of you that do not have an Android phone and cannot extract the APK, it's also incredibly simple. This version of Pojav should work for you just fine. It's just going to be, as I said, a little bit outdated. So going on to the Pojav Launcher GitHub page right here, you want to click on releases, scroll down a little bit and download app-debug.apk. So clicking on that, there you go. You now have the Pojav Launcher APK. Of course, this one, as I said, is just a little bit outdated. Now, I feel like it's important to note here that you can actually find the Google Play Store APK around the internet. All you have to do is type in Pojav Launcher APK and just use one of those sites. I'm just not entirely promoting them because I don't know which one is safe and which one isn't, but I do also feel like mentioning the fact that I could not extract the APK from my phone for some reason. It just wouldn't. So I did end up using one of those websites myself, and I used APK Pure for that. So I'm not promoting it and I'm not saying you should use it, but it's there and it's what I used. And by getting the APK that way, of course, you're getting the same version as from the Google Play Store, so you're no longer outdated. You have the most up-to-date version of the app. So now I'm going to take you guys through the two different ways you can install Pojav Launcher on your Quest. First of all, I'll show you how to do it using a PC if you have one, and then I'll show you how to do it without the PC in case you don't have one. So on your PC, launch up SideQuest, our favorite sideloading software. Connect your Oculus Quest to your PC using a USB cable. Make sure you accept all the dialogues and that your Quest shows up in SideQuest, as usual. Then click up here in the top right corner of SideQuest and select the APK file that you acquired earlier. This is the Pojav Launcher APK. Selecting the APK and double clicking on it will install it through SideQuest, sideloading it to your Oculus Quest. Boom, you're done. Now onto the phone method. If you guys are using an Android phone instead of using a PC, it's pretty simple. Download Bug Jaeger from the Google Play Store and then launch it. Connect your Oculus Quest 2 to your phone using a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable or by using an OTG adapter, in case your phone maybe doesn't use Type-C. You should get a bunch of prompts showing up on your Quest to accept USB debugging from your Android phone, and then the Quest should show up in a dialogue on Bug Jaeger. Then clicking right here on Bug Jaeger, it will ask you to select the APK. Now, remember that you must have downloaded this APK earlier on your Android phone, just like you would on your PC. So find it and select it. This will sideload the APK to your Oculus Quest, just like it would on PC. Boom, you're done. You can unplug your Quest and continue on with the tutorial. What I would also like to mention is that this is fully blown Minecraft, which means you can install mods like Optifine and other Forge mods. I mean, as long as the Quest can pull it, but it's quite a powerful device. So in case you want to find the .minecraft directory, which is the directory where you would normally install these mods on a PC, you can find it by going through your Quest folders, by first going into Android, then going into Data, then going into Net launch and then files or .minecraft. The folder will be situated somewhere along those. And there you have access to everything just like you would on PC. So now that you have Pojav Launcher installed on your Quest, what you want to do is you want to go down here, top right, unknown sources, and launch 
Pojav launcher. Now, the really cool part about the new update of uh, this whole menu thing on the Quest 2 is the fact that we get to actually resize our windows, which is epic. Uh, now, of course, you're going to want to sign in, so let me just do that right now. So, signing in, you can now see that we have fully blown Minecraft on the Quest 2. And clicking play, it'll download just like it would. Now, this is version 1.12.2. But right here, you can see everything is working. And of course, we will be bringing this up, up another notch by connecting a mouse and keyboard to it and essentially making this into a really nice, really large screen sized Minecraft gaming machine. So guys, I've been trying for quite some time now and I just cannot seem to get the Oculus Quest 2 to give storage permissions to Pojev Launcher. I'm not entirely certain what I'm doing incorrectly considering most other apps are able to get those permissions just fine, but it seems Pojev is having issues. And even through the Oculus Quest setup app, well, that doesn't work either. So we're kind of stuck with version 1.12.2, but that's not entirely anything bad because 1.12.2 12.2 has a really large selection of mods, and most servers still work just fine with it. So, let's try it out, and it is still full Minecraft, so let's see how well it works. Okay, so what I will do first here now, just to kind of, you know, set up the ultimate gamer station, uh, we are going to go to settings, I am going to go to experimental features, turn on 120 hertz, uh, turn on Bluetooth pairing, and I will now pair a few things. So first of all, I will pair my mouse. Of course, you could use an OTG adapter to connect a USB mouse and keyboard to the Quest 2, but we're gonna go full wireless because I want the full experience. But yes, you could fully uh, just connect a USB mouse and keyboard to the Quest if that's what you wanted to do. And now let's connect our beautiful Bluetooth keyboard as well, because you know, why not? And now with my mouse, I can click play and look at this! Oh my god! We're playing Minecraft on a big screen on nothing but the Oculus Quest 2. Like, this screen is probably larger than anything I could ever own. And of course, if you had the new multitasking feature enabled, which I disabled for the purpose of this video because I thought that that's what was causing the storage issue, it wasn't. So if you have it enabled, you can actually stretch the screen out and have a larger screen to play Minecraft on. Um, so you, you essentially get the full experience here. So let's go to single player. Let's create a new world for now. Let's just kind of see on survival mode how well it works. And then we're going to hop onto a server. Celebratory coffee. Oh, you must be joking me. Okay. So it seems that walking around with the keyboard works. However, looking around doesn't. Use your mouse to turn. It's not really letting me. But this is perfectly playable, actually. So if I... There we go. Just like that. I won't lie to you, I'm very upset now. I mean, it does work. <laughs> the Quest has done something very weird to external mouse controls. Why? Let's try enter a server. I want to try enter a server to just see if it works. I was hoping for... I'm disappointed. I'm very disappointed right now. Ah, of course. <laughs> this is, don't use Vivecraft on servers. Um, okay, let's try this. So here we are on a server and it's running. Oh, it's running so smooth. If only you didn't have to play like this. Like this, this is perfectly playable. I refuse to believe that there is no way of making the mouse work correctly. Oh, this would be such a good way of playing the game. Just look at how well it runs. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. <laughs> oh, don't tell me it's dead. Oh, oh, it's blinking. Does that mean it's in Bluetooth pairing? Uh, experimental features, pair. You guys can't see this because it goes dark here. Wireless controller. <gasps> yes! <gasps> okay. This changes everything. I mean, I've never played Minecraft on a controller, so I have no clue how to play. But look at it. We're playing fully blown Minecraft. I mean, the controls are completely messed up. Square is um, jump, so. <laughs> but it works. Here I am playing Mind Pick. Um, Mindplex? Yeah, Mindplex on an Oculus Quest 2 using just, just the Quest 2. No PC, no, no nothing like that just a controller 
and the quest too. And if I don't want to see the GUI, let's say it's annoying me, here we are. Just fully blown, playing it on the quest too. Just widescreen in front of me. That's epic. That is that is so cool. Um, options, video settings. Let's go fancy, right? And let's bring the render distance up to nine. Like who are we, you know, not to do that. And the brightness up to 99%, back to game. Perfectly playable. <laughs> this makes me so happy for no reason whatsoever. Like this should not make me as happy as it makes me. I think it's because we succeeded. Like we beat the system in the end, you know? And of course, you know, you could install a texture pack the boost your FPS, you know? Oh, if you cannot tell the joy and happiness on my face right now. Now you're able to put on the quest, chill in your bed, no PC required, you're playing fully blown Java Minecraft. You could probably install some mods. I'm gonna be real with you. You could probably install some mods and just play with a controller. Just chill in your bed. No mouse and keyboard needed. Just kind of lay down, look at the ceiling, you know? Cause you can grab this. My life is now complete. See you later guys. See you in tomorrow's video. This is, I'm currently too busy. Let's let's play a game. Let's <laughs> Okay, let's do this. I'm going to I'm going to win this 100%. Work together as a team. I'm sorry guys. I don't think I'm going to be able to help you out much here, especially since I don't think I have a jump button. What am I am I supposed to be killing these guys? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Go away. Go away. Nobody wants you here. Stop. You are not a friend of the channel. <laughs> New objective, secure the sewer. Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't really... I, uh... <laughs> oh, I am vibing right now. Okay, check this out. So I actually managed to get an Xbox uh, One controller, <laughs> and I just plugged it in. So currently I have it plugged in through a USB. This is not even wireless. Currently I'm actually plugged into the Xbox One controller using uh, micro USB to type C to type C <laughs> and that is plugged in to the quest and you can see right here I can move everything and this is mapped correctly unlike the PlayStation controller this is mapped just beautifully everything here works just like it should so people were right it is just PlayStation not being mapped perfectly for Android but here we are I can walk around let's say I want to play gladiators Okay, so I don't actually know how to play this game, so I'm definitely going to die. Is this my team? Like, is, do I have a team? Oh, I'm okay, I'm guessing that's a no. That's that's a no. That's going to be a no. <laughs> no, no, I'm playing on controller. Leave me alone. <sighs> oh, oh, I'm actually getting some shots on this guy. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. Did I... It's hilarious. Okay, that is actually really funny. Okay, let's just end it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna disconnect for now. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh wow. Okay. So there you go. Fully blown. Minecraft Java on the Oculus Quest and Oculus Quest 2. Uh, it works, as you saw there, perfectly fine. As long as you don't want to use a mouse and keyboard. I mean, yes, I am disappointed about that. I was really hoping we could use a mouse and keyboard. But it does look like it works with PlayStation controllers, though not very well mapped. I have heard that that is because of Android and the way Android maps PlayStation controllers. But if you have an Xbox controller, you should be good to go. But yeah, that is going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope I could help you out. I hope you now get to play fully blown Minecraft Java on your Quest 2. Let me know what you do with it. Let me know if you install any mods. Let me know if you're, you've already been doing this for a while now. I don't know. Um, but yeah, if you guys liked the video, please leave a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys are not yet part of our community, make sure to check out our Discord down below. Make sure to check out our Reddit, where I want to see you posting your spicy memes. If you guys would like to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, we've got sick mugs down below that boost your FPS by 300% and merch that does not put a huge ad in body. Thank you so much to the Patreons that are supporting this channel right now. You guys are helping me out a lot, buying better equipment and just making videos better for you guys. So thank you so much for that. And if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel daily, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.